Hello there, welcome back. Uh, we are now back for another episode. In this episode, I will talk about the energy generation in Yoki Industries. Okay, so previous episode, I told you how to burn, right? All the fuel that you can use in the boilers, you know, to boil your water and feed it to the generators. Now we're going to talk about the generators. Yoki's uh, provide us a wealth of generators. In fact, there's a whole line of them, okay? I've never seen a mod that has so many generators. It's so nice graphics, right? If you play Ditec, they give you generators that are the same as uh, steam engines looking, and they just kind of color them, right? <laughs> Is it Was it red, green, or purple? I don't remember, but kind of dubious. Anyways, not to trash on them, I know that graphics are difficult to come. So, let's talk about the generators. I won't go over how to make the generators. Um, you can just look at the formulas themselves, right? Some of them are quite, quite <laughs> uh, involved, okay? Uh, actually, I'll just talk about one. Uh, this is Renzuer. Uh, Renzuer uh, turbine is a very high-end turbine, okay? Uh, if you just look at the material required, it takes three quantrinium. Uh, quantrinum. It takes uh, extreme capacity pipes. It takes advanced machine frames. It takes uh, Durotol as well as orange stuff. Okay. Now the orange stuff and Durotol are something you can create relatively early during um, your research, uh, the the rank of research that you do in uh, factorial. But uh, the qu the quantrinum that that takes some research uh, before you can get there. Why? Because the quantrinum themselves requires that you are able to make the uh, quantum composer. Okay, quantum composer therefore requires that you are able to make the advanced machine frame, and of course the assembly uh, three machine, as well as you're gonna have to go and at least murder some natives. Uh, if you don't want to murder the natives, then you can do the passive way, right? You dig for dirt, you wash the dirt to get the alien artifacts. I mean, it's not alien artifacts, alien data fragments. You can combine the alien data fragments with the science facts and to, to get your uh, alien artifacts that you need to make the quantum composer, okay? So at this time in your research, you should already have uh, plastic research as well as the ability to make electric engines. So that is likely somewhere around here, electric engines. All right. So it's it's quite high. So this is uh, somewhat mid game to mid late game. Okay. So that's just the Renzuer. It's a very high end building. Um, we'll talk about why it is so high end. Okay. So let me take the the the, the generators out and let's, let's play with them. Recently, Yoki had consolidated a lot of these generators. There used to be more. Alright, so, what I took out, they're called generators. And there's a reason why they're called generators. Um, the reason is, their efficiency is below 100. Okay? Now before you're like, oh, I don't want those. I mean, you know, why would I settle for something that's less than 100% efficient? Well, reality, there's no such thing as 100% efficient. <laughs> uh, vanilla steam engines are just magic, right? Um, but the reason why you want them is because they have higher generating capability, right? The number tells you the ability to perform. 3.1, uh, 3.3 means it's 3 megawatt, right? 3.3 megawatts. And the P at the end means it's a primary generator. So it acts on the same uh, priority as a solar, solar panel. Therefore, this guy gets kicked on first if there is an energy shortage. It has a cousin, or its brother, and it's called a, um, um, a, a secondary generator. Uh, one moment, I'm going to put down a pole so that it can stop flashing this thing because it would drive me crazy. And besides, you can't see anything. Alright, so I wanted to space them out and zoom in a bit. If you look closely, you see the P here, as well as the S, okay? uh, as well as the wire. So the P one has a black wire on the, uh, the right side of the, of the graphics, and the secondary one has a blue wire. Okay? So that's the noticing features 
without having to mouse over it. You can tell what they are by just looking at them and, and identify them visually. Okay. A larger version of the generator, but occupying the same footprint. Okay. It's called the 5.3 generator. And this, of course, generates 5.3 megawatts. Okay. By the way, the the megawatt figures that I'm say, telling you right now are based on uh, vanilla water. So water at 100 uh, degrees. Okay. If you have a fluid that has a higher uh, heat capacity than water, which is one, or it has a higher temperature than water, 100, then the amount of power that can be generated by these generators will be a bit higher. Okay. It in fact is um, 16 over 15, or uh, what is that? That is uh, 1.06 uh, higher times higher than whatever the number I quoted. So for 5.3, that would be uh, 5.65 megawatts. Okay. All right. So this is again secondary, and then it has even a larger guy. This one occupied a bit larger in size. This one is a 9.7, and finally you have. 14.7. Okay, so the gender that the generators all share the same shapes, right? They have these wheel that goes into the ground. Okay, they're very nice looking. Uh, Yuki's actually showed uh, his inf inspiration. I think uh, he went somewhere in Germany and he found these old generators. Um, they were also kind of looking like that in their warehouse, and so he's like, ah, oh, I, sh I should draw these. This is what you have. So they are, are in fact inspired from real life models. This is how some of the old generators look like. Okay, so that's the generators. Okay. So remember, P means primary and S means secondary. I, I think tertiary is gone because uh, the recent patch removed it or something. All right. Besides the generator. Yoki's also offer you something called a sun's power sterling. And what is a sun power sterling? Well, it's actually it's just a solar panel. But uh, the difference is that it's a much nicer solar panel. Right? A vanilla solar panel is a 3x3 three three object, whereas his solar panel is a 2x2 two two object. So you can actually squeeze this thing all in a nice area. right? Ever try to to uh, tile out the three by three? I saw a lot of designs where they tile out um, accumulators with uh, solar panels. Well, it's always a uh, a hassle, right? You try to fit three by three and two by two together, and you always end up with a little space. Well, Yoki solved your your problem, right? Just tile them out with sun power sterling. They all nicely fit. Everything is going to be square. And we have, of course, finally the steam generators. All right. So, what is the difference between steam generator and generator? Well, steam generator are, mind you, more efficient. <laughs> they are at least 100% efficient. Okay, so they reflect the same uh, inclination as the uh, vanilla form, vanilla counterparts. And I'm placing down the the respective power scale. So this one here uh, makes uh, I think like 700 megawatts. Yeah, 790 kilowatts. Okay. Uh, and uh, the, this one is a primary. You see Gen P is is always on. So this one is primary. The same guy is secondary. And you have here a steam turbine. This one is 1.8 megawatts. This one is five something. This one is 4.5 megawatts. He changed it, and the final one is 11 megawatts. Okay, so this is a Renzuer. Now, you want to be careful with these guys. Um, the way that you place the pipes into them uh, is somewhat uh, hard to tell. So, this steam generator here does cannot be uh, connected on the side. Okay, it can only be connected north south. Okay, I don't think you can all you can't rotate them either. So, what you see is what you get. So, you cannot rotate them. This steam generator here can only be connected on one of the side. Right? There's no connection here, and of course it continues to the back. Okay, so when you pl when you build these, 
need, you need to be mindful of their connections. Uh, these can is, is in right in the middle. Okay. So all of these generator on the left, it's just down the axial axis. So the pipes is go right down the axis. Okay. So these are the generators. Okay. I, th I hopefully I didn't go over them too fast, but uh, basically the ones that are called generators have a uh, less efficiency than uh, the ones that are called steam turbines okay which are on the right okay so I'll put these back in the box and then we'll talk about the boilers I made uh, mention of them briefly last time Now we'll talk a bit more about them in detail. Okay, so what kind of boilers do Yoki Industry offer? Well, there are four of them. And they uh, increase in efficiency the larger they get. So I'm now laying them out. So originally, you only had uh, these three, and then um, around the version 2.14, I think, Yuki introduced uh, op the Obnisk uh, boiler. And uh, when that was first introduced, it was, I think, one of the best looking buildings I've seen in Factorio. And it still continues to be very nice looking. It looks very much like a pressure cooker, don't you think? does. Okay, so I'm connecting these now to show you how the boilers connect because you might be uh, confused as to how they are connected. Alright, so this just by looking at their sizes can tell you that they are the bigger they are the more heavy amount of heat they can produce which means the fuel that they burn is also faster, right? So they chew through fuel like nobody's business. This little itty one, right? You can feed it fuel that are five mega, mega joules and they'll be okay, right? Be content. But is, if you feed this omnisk here, five mega joules, it will just eat them. It goes in, whoosh, gone. <laughs> so this is the reason why Yuki provided you so many ways of making fuel that has a high energy density. Take advantage of it, especially if you run these obnisk. The other advantage is, of course, they the the larger they are, the more efficient they are. Well, this guy here, the obnisk, is ninety percent efficient. So that simply means that uh, ninety percent of the heat that was, uh, excuse me, a hundred percent of the heat was spent, but ninety percent of it is actually uh, applied to the liquid, and therefore go on to the generator. So this one here is, um, according to the label, right? This one is that one you see, is 68 percent, 72 percent, uh, goes on to 75 percent, and finally to 90 percent. Okay. So the boilers are really nothing remarkable. They have a lot of space for fuel. Okay, but they look pretty. I like them. Uh, this this uh, this this is nice because it occupies the same space as the vanilla boiler. So you can immediately um, upgrade to Yoki boiler and get uh, some efficiency in your fuel return, right? So you can get a bit more, squeeze a bit more power out of your fuel that you're burning. Um, in terms of, uh, of recipes, you can see that already he encouraged you to uh, replace the vanilla boiler with his by, you know, if you can make the boiler. Uh, you can make a vanilla boiler, then you can make his boiler, as long as you have access to steel. Okay. So as soon as you have access to steel, a lot of his recipes become available to you, because you can start making them. And that essentially covers uh, the boilers, and covers the, gener the electricity generation. Okay. One final comment I want to make about this is that um, water can be input either at the top or the bottom. 
and you can of course uh, remove water either at top or bottom depending on which is your input okay um, I highly recommend that when you use this large boiler the Omnisk that you have an efficient layout of the pipes okay so what I mean by that so let me demonstrate um, you will either uh, you will either succeed or fail in using that kind of boiler. I have too many enemies around me, so I'll, I'll instead demonstrate using uh, his um, his uh, his water maker. All right, so we'll need we need some of these. Okay, so let's suppose you have room, okay, and you are going to use this omnisk you will need at least seven of these electric water generator okay so you're going to have to find an efficient way of laying out these electric generator such that um, the pipes between them are minimized okay you, you don't want to have too much pipes So there's six right here. You can put the, either the seventh or the eighth over here, and that should be okay. Okay. Yes. So this so this would would be an ideal laid out, for example. So you connect your pipes. here like so This, to me, is an ideal layout of the uh, water supplying the omnisk. Okay, remember you can either supply from the top or the bottom. So, why did I not connect, say, this piece here directly here? Well, the reason is you already connected here. You want the water to be funneled in a one-way route only, and not in a kind of a roundabout way, right? So you don't want the water in the pipes to be sloshing around in the pipes. You just want it to go from the source to the sink, and that's it. Do not have uh, you know connecting paths where the water can go different paths. Don't do, don't do that. Okay, it's just it's bad for your throughput. Okay, so that is an example of of how to connect uh, the water for the omnisk. You need some a lot of space. Okay, so if you're going to use this kind of boiler, you need some space. By the way, you can you can chain the boiler together. So just because they look big and you know, heavy does not mean that you only use them one by one, right? So this is this is legitimate right here. You can chain them together and they'll be okay. Okay. So that's it. That's all we have time for. In the next episode, I will talk about these other goodies that came with um, Yuki Energies, the lights, so especially the lights, right? And some of this stuff that's left. I will see you soon.